Good afternoon, Avon. Sorry I missed you yesterday. And the day before. I'm Evan Rachwalski. I'm Sam Smalley, and we're back. Enon starts right now. The Avon High School Drama Club invites you to the fall play, The Bad Seed. This chilling play, based on a 1954 novel by William March, takes a hard look at nature versus nurture. What makes a person bad? Sweet Rhoda Penmark is only not eight years old. Is a child that young capable of evil? Performances are Friday and Saturday, November 16th and 17th at 7 p.m., and on Sunday, November 18th at 2 p.m. Pre-sale tickets are only available online. Just go to the link and click the green Purchase Tickets Here box under the date you want your tickets. Drama Club will have flyers available during lunch periods to help with online ticketing, which must be done with a credit card. Advanced tickets are $4 for students and senior citizens and adults are $6. Tickets at the door are $2 more. What are you guys doing here? Are we doing the weekly wrap up right now? Okay, well, let's get started. Oh. Oh. Hey, buddy. I didn't know we were filming this early. Sorry, I didn't pick up. Oh, hey, Cody. Oh, hey, Tyler. What a coincidence. What's going yeah. on? Go We're filming a weekly wrap-up. So, we right now? Right now, right now. Okay. Like, right now, right now? Right now, right now. All right, hop on, let's go. To start off, we're going to be talking about the midterm elections that happened this week. After the votes were counted, the Senate remained at a Republican majority, while the House of Representatives switched to a Democratic majority. Republican Mike DeWine won the race to be the governor of Ohio. And this midterm election was huge because since 1966, this has been the highest voter turnout in 50 years. Keep it up and remember your vote counts. Where's Cody? Oh, there you are. Hey, thanks for the basketball. Speaking of basketball, well, bad news bears here, guys, but the Cavaliers haven't been doing so well, which we kind of figured ever since LeBron James left. But hey, at least we have shirtless JR and brand new basketball jerseys. That's right, this week the Cavs unveiled their brand new Lake Erie inspired basketball jerseys with an orange and blue color. Let us know what you think. Also in the news, the movie Bohemian Rhapsody broke records in the box office as the second highest grossing musical biopic of all time. If you haven't seen it yet, check out this teaser. Let's go! Hey man, I just want to say thank you for filming the weekly wrap up with me and you know and getting me out of that crib. It was pretty tight and uncomfortable in there. Well, did you get my unicorn? Did you get my diapers? Dude, I thought you were pushing the car. Anyway, let's just drop this. Finish this up first. You're right. Well, guys, that was our weekly wrap-up Target edition. I hope you guys enjoyed, and remember to catch us next week and tweet us at Eagle News Net. I'm Tyler Muir. I'm Cody Save. See you next time. Let's roll out!
That's all we have for you today, Avon. I'm Evan Twalski. And I'm Sam Spinali. Good luck to the football team and have a great day, Avon. Evan.